Well, I realized the intro that I just created isn't going to work because I didn't put the mic. I didn't connect the mic, so I'm out here fishing again, Central Coast, using some squid with a drop shot. Uh, same technique, you know. It's a little rough out today. Got a three ounce coin weight. And then this is a Gamagatsu octopus hook. Just the 30 pound leader attached to my braid with an FG knot. All right, guys. Apologize if the audio is terrible. We're down here, climbed down into this beautiful area. Uh, I haven't fished this spot in like a good, you know, maybe six months, maybe a little longer. Low tide, so it's good because usually this is all really high tide and you can't really fish it anyways. But right now it's low tide, so we could definitely walk out farther out and climb and cast out. But yeah, this spot, hopefully we could catch some fish here. I'm really, really excited. I'm really, I think we're really going to be able to catch them here for sure. But I just want to film right up there. It's kind of where we got down from. Definitely not something you would want to do by yourself. Um, I just did it because, you know, I've climbed down this thing so many times, you know, it's not super sketchy for me, but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't not, I would not recommend you climbing down by yourself. Uh, at least let people know where you're going to be. So, you know, if you come out rock fishing by yourself, you should always let people know you're going to be fishing and in what area. But I don't know if, uh, I think I filmed a video here maybe like two years ago. And I don't think I've fished, well I fished it, but I don't think I've published a video ever since fishing this area. Um, basically, this is typically, for the most part, underwater and, you know, it's still pretty wet as you can see. It's really flat down here so the tide's got to be low in order for you to come out and fish a spot like this. But about three years ago, maybe four, my friend Felix lost probably a six pound rockfish down here. Just casting it under this rock. And now we gotta wait for the bite. But yeah, we lost a massive fish here and I haven't fished this spot in years. So I don't know if, you know, if there's any really big ones down here right now or not years, but months. Oh, we just got tick, we just got hit. We got hit, there we go. It's big, it's big. Yes. That's what we came for. That is a monster. Exactly like I said. Oh, let's go. This thing is huge. Barely hooked. And we're going to see if we can pull another one out of there. We're going to let this one go. Uh, this this big rockfish right here, even though you could eat it and it'd be good. Um, I would, I'm going to let it go because it could produce more offspring. This is a big breeder it could be a female could have a lot of eggs so we're gonna let it go and let it repopulate so we can keep on catching fish like this but this thing is absolutely massive this would be a really good one that the to do a, a catch and cook with because this thing is huge this is this is a gopher rockfish and it just pooped everywhere but absolutely massive fish. So we're gonna, well, there's actually a tide pool over here that I'm gonna put it in and then we're gonna let it go at the end of the video because we're gonna get a really sick thumbnail with it. I'm hoping we can catch another massive one like this. Man, slow day, but look at this, paid off. It's beautiful fish. I haven't, like I said, I haven't really fished this spot 
That thing is absolutely massive. A beautiful fish. Bit on the squid. Man, I made it worth it. Oh, snag city. All right. <clears throat> Go explore a little bit. Got our weight. Uh, let's see here. Grab a piece of squid. Uh, take the knife with us. Leave our stuff here. <laughs> We're gonna go look around. Look at this right here. I think it was embedded in there. This is a abalone shell. Just washed up here. Washing up on the coast. I remember a few years ago, we actually saw a massive link hot head wash up on this beach right here. Oh, that was pretty badass. And then you get a bunch of like random things getting washed up in there. Yeah, this is a really cool beach, rock beach. I see a lot of cool stuff here. This one right here, same as well. But if it's bumpy, this cave goes in deep. Holy smokes. It was another like, maybe 15 feet. There's an abalone shell. Is that, oh, that's not, yeah, there's an abalone shell over there as well. Bunch of, there's another piece right here. There's a lot of abalone shells here. Hopefully they're there. Not being poached. I don't think so. Look at the size of this limpid. Have you guys ever seen a limpet this massive? These things are like scallops. It's basically the size of a scallop. I and mean, you eat these limpets here. I heard they're pretty good. I've never had one, but these are massive. That's a lot of meat on that thing. Trying to figure out how I'm gonna get on top of this rock. I really don't want to get my feet wet. I think I need new boots. These waterproof boots aren't really waterproof anymore. I don't want to mess up there. I'm just gonna squeeze between these rocks. Can I squeeze it? I don't even know if I can squeeze through this. Oh, my reel just fell in the water. That was a fail. Man, I think it just fell in, like, straight in the water. I'm gonna, think, I'm gonna need to wash that when I get home. All right, well, we got to the spot where I wanted to get to. This is uh, another spot here. It's actually quite rougher than I would like. This one's a little bit more open to the elements. But well, we're gonna give it a try here. Yeah, I'm trying to get in there, but you stand. Ugh. Now the kelp moves. We're gonna sit there for a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, getting bit. There we go. Another good sized rock fish. This one's not nearly as big, but it's still a really good size from shore. Beautiful. Let's see if we can get another one out of that hole. Usually I get cabazons in there, but this time I'm able to rockfish. Nothing. All right. I'm out here a little bit. I don't think I've ever had luck under this rock, but we're gonna we'll try actually we'll try right here. Last ball looks really juicy. Looks really promising. I saw that last second. That was crazy. And I'm getting bit. And I got bit. Let's go. Oh. Oh, that was. Let's go. Another one. That's three. That was, that was uh, insane right there. That wave almost got me. I saw it last second. I, I opened my bell, I ran for it, I turn around, I see the wave crash, it would have gotten me soaked if I stayed. It finishes crashing, ah, uh, I catch another one, that is insane. All right, well, put them over here next to this one. About the same size. As that one right there, but I think we're gonna I think we're gonna try getting one more. That is beautiful. All right, back to where I got, but I need to climb up this rock or this cliff here with these two rockfish. My hands are getting numb. This one was a pain to get to open his mouth, but we're gonna, I forgot how we did it. What you wanna do is you kinda wanna get on this ledge right here, which isn't hard to do, especially with, you have hold when you're holding two fish. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it one way or the other. Oh. Oh, I made it. I did it. All right, we're gonna go put these in the, in the tide pool real quick. Get them nice. Back in the water. I just brought them because I wanted to take a video. Not a video, but I wanted to just uh, get them all in one picture. I think it looks a lot better that way. But we put them in there. For now, we're gonna let all those fish go and I'm gonna actually bring them back to where I, where I caught them and let them go there. Just so that if they were guarding eggs or something. You know, the funny part is whenever I come out here and I fish this point when it's accessible, I never catch anything. It's only when I'm fishing off that top of that cliff I actually do get something. Oh, that got me. Got me wet. That wave got me. There's another one coming. All right. I think uh, I think we're just gonna fish over here now. I got me soaked. My legs are soaked right now, and it's cold. So I don't want to. I don't want to get too cold. I'm gonna do a few long casts 
with the weights here and see if uh, we could pick anything off far, a little farther out and close to shore here. I'm gonna use some big pieces of squid here. I'll thread it through like so. Trying to find maybe, uh, always had some decent luck out here. I'm right over. Hey y'all. Give it a good cast. Fine. Decent area. Not the farthest cast I've ever done. And I'm already snagged on a rock. Oh, yep, broke off. Forgot this was in my back pocket. Wind's definitely picking up, so. I'm probably gonna cast it out a few times and see if we can get one or up a little farther out. If not, then we'll go ahead and call it a day. It's been a really good day. Started off really slow, but man, we sure did good towards the end there. Got some really nice uh, fish. And uh, I, can't, I can't complain about that. I thought for sure I was gonna get skunks today. But, oh, ended up being a really good day. Just doing a simple drop shot. This is, there's a lot of ways of doing that, tying this, this setup, but I, this is just the way I do it because it, it's really fast. So obviously, tie your weight first, bottom. It's about a foot down. Give or take. Make a loop. Overhand. Do the overhand, just push it through four times. And there you go. There's the setup. Really easy, simple. This will get you, you know, This will get you started here. This is what I this will got me started. I'm still using it just because I think it's you really can't beat it. I mean, it's really so, it's so simple. Obviously, this won't work for every application you're doing, but you know, for the most part, you'll be all right. All right, I'm not, I'm not sure what happened, but I casted it out. No snags, just casted it out a little farther. Um, out towards some rocks that were sticking out of the water. Uh, basically, this kind of fishing, you just kind of cast it out and wait. You can always hold it. That way you feel the bite. Um, but I'm just going to set it down. All right, guys. Had it sitting off here for a good minute. I don't think I got any bites. Nope. Just a snag. But I'm gonna call it a day. It's, you know, getting later. And I gotta get going. Gotta edit this video and make, post it. So we're gonna call it a day for, to, uh, for today, obviously. But, you know, definitely, want to come back out and do a proper catch and cook this time. Oh, I'm going to snag there. Yeah, do a proper catch and cook. Um, catch maybe two or three and cook them up. Out here on the rocks, it'd be great. But we're done for today. So we're gonna go ahead and let go of the fish here. And then we'll, uh, yeah, put them back where we found them. We gotta go 
put those two over there and then I'm gonna let that big one go back down where I caught it. All right guys, I made it back home. Fortunately, I wasn't able to uh, record the release of those three fish. My phone was like at 2%, so I had to wrap it up. But this is the new fishing pole I got. It's a 10 foot pole by Mustad. We'll see how this one goes up, uh, works out. So like I said, we're gonna be using this one to cast out and um, try to use some live bait. So we'll try that out. Uh, yeah, just want to give you guys an update. Hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one.